Did you and your father ever discuss Ukraine? No. As I said, the only time it was after a news account, it wasn't a discussion in any way. There's no but to this. No, we never did. All right, Mark, you want to go first? Yeah, so net-net of that, you did. <laughs> so, I mean, that's... that's <laughs> Net, net, you had a chat about it. Now, it only, so yes, you did, so long as you frame uh, the interaction as as not being a discussion. The question was, did you have a discussion? Well, yeah, I did. Well, no, I didn't. Well, if you, uh, mm, there's no but. So what he's doing is going, a interaction happened, I would suggest, an interaction happened where the Ukraine came up was part of that interaction. But he's he's reframing it as not a discussion. So maybe he was told about it. Maybe it was mentioned and he was there. Maybe he mentioned it and somebody else was there. But what he's saying is, because we can't frame this as a discussion, it didn't happen. Net, net, it, 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 it did out of that particular salad that we got there. But look, listen, you know, tell me if I'm if I'm wrong. Greg, what do you what do you think? What you got on this? Yeah, one? so here's my initial response. What the hell? I mean, if a child told me that when I asked, did you take cookies from the cookie jar? I would just paddle their little rear end when I was young. You know, I mean, when I was a kid, you get paddle for that. I would have gotten paddle. That's the way life works because they would know you're lying. Come on. This is a very simple, direct question. Direct questions that are answered honestly have direct answers. Did you? No, we didn't. And, and a leading question on top of that. This is the equivalent of the kids saying, well, I went to get co cookies. Well, no, there weren't cookies. It was candy bar. Well, no candy bars. <laughs> well, there's nothing, nothing, just nothing. <laughs> this is insane that anybody would sit with a straight face and believe this guy's telling the truth. That's all I got. I, I'm incredulous to use a word I don't use. Uh, Chase, what do you got? Uh, this is by far the best interviewer out of out of the group. This this sure. woman here, don't know who she is. Uh, from, maybe I should, but uh, I don't. I don't even own a TV, so <laughs> I mean, there's one behind you. <laughs> so in the Ukraine, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's not really a TV, just, but well, <laughs> just to counteract all the people we're gonna, you know, panelists that are gonna write yeah. in. Oh, yeah. Chase, no, he's got a TV, but I may, I may not own it, Greg. I mean, there I you go. That's that's true. True. There's no but. There's no but. Yeah, no but. <laughs> there is a but oh. on the TV. Have you ever talked about the Ukraine? She's asking him whether they discussed an entire country <laughs> right. in general. So the, to answer no would obviously be a lie, <laughs> just to discuss a country. And blink rate goes up to 60 blinks per minute. And the only time was after a news account, and then he self-edits it wasn't a discussion in any way. And I want you to, Greg talks about the eyes a lot. I talk about the eyes a lot. I want you to watch the natural movement to his normal recall position, which is nine o'clock. You can watch any of his baseline videos, nine o'clock recall, hour nine o'clock. As you're looking at him, your clock. So his right. And then they immediately and rapidly move across to about 4.35 o'clock. As, as we're looking at him. And that is an immediate retreat. And I need to change the subject and figure something out immediately. When the eyes move from one hemisphere to the other, something's going on. That's almost 99% of the time, that would be a big red flag for me in any interview, especially if I'm interviewing an employee. Uh, Scott, what do you got? All right, this, this, this was three answers, three different answers in seven seconds. Unbelievable. There's a guy named Julian Moore. He was a police sergeant here in Nashville. He's retired now. And he could do the funniest imitation of somebody lying to him. Oh, it would put me in the floor, put everybody who was around him in the floor laughing so hard when he started doing it. And it looked just like that when he would do it. And it was so funny that it was, that's why we we're all laughing so hard as we we're watching this because it just looks, it just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And this guy reminds me of Julie, what he does. Every time I saw that, it's the first thing I could, that's the first thing I, th I could think of. But we're seeing a pro at work here. This guy, is he, he knows how to do that. He knows how to, how to, once he starts getting into something and he sees it sticky and he, he stepped in it, he knows how to get out and jump around and, and try to get out of it like a frog in some tar or something. So he's 
he's a pro. I don't know what else to say about that. It's but it's hilarious. That's so bad. It's it's hilarious. So uh, we do our reel of the best examples of everything we've seen for our anniversary. This is one. This one yeah, has no to kidding. be it because no kidding. There's just no foundation of truth. That's the yeah. best part. We're going to get eaten alive on this thing. <laughs> Did you and your father ever discuss Ukraine? No. As I said, the only time was after a news account. It wasn't a discussion in any way. There's no but to this. No, we never did. If you like this video, get the full body language breakdown and analysis on our main channel by clicking this video right here.